Okay, y'all, look, check it out. Now, today we're about to talk about uh, a contractual waiver of personal jurisdiction. What a contractual waiver is, when you go back to, um, in my state, Florida Statute 685.102, uh, it's something called a contractual waiver of personal jurisdiction. And what that mean is, is dealing with uh, a consent basis when you're dealing with law enforcement and to how they gain jurisdiction. Just know, all questions that police ask you, they are trying to establish jurisdiction, whether it's by force or whether they try to manipulate you or trying to pull you into they, uh, in a tribunal. So some of the questions that they ask you is like the normal, hey, what's your address? Where you reside in? Where you receive mail in? And some of the things that a lot of people fall for, they think if I put the word in care of with their address, they think they alleviate it. No, you actually get, give them jurisdiction. When you say in care of and you put a mailing address, they ex excluding the in care of and only worrying about what your address is. That's one way of contractual consent. Another way of contractual consent is when you're dealing with the officers, right? When you come into contact with them, um, some of the other things that they have you do is sign a license, right? Some people will put at the top without prejudice, UCC 1-308, and they will put their signature at the bottom. And they should not put their signature at the bottom. If you want to sign a ticket, just write without prejudice UCC 1-308 and leave it alone. Don't sign anything because they are ignoring the fact that you put a without prejudice at the top and with and also you reserve your right they exclude all of that so contractual waiver in so many ways it's like you giving consent of jurisdiction and there's so many other tactics that police ask you that's why you have to know how to answer certain questions and and, and what's bad is you know some people will assert they um fifth amendment right not to say anything to officers now that's the problem if you don't say anything they're going to presume jurisdiction and proceed more with an arrest or detainment so at all times you could be an honor but you can also uh separate from their jurisdiction so if you come in contact with a police officer this is uh ways to avoid from uh, having any contractual agreement like you establishing contracts with them they say hey sir what's your name my name's Taquan. you know my real name uh what do you reside in oh, i live in the united states of america republic he said um okay um you know uh, you got an identification card I'm like no i have no contracts with the state or whatever uh, but make sure this there's another thing that y'all don't understand if you have contracts with the state you cannot exercise the constitutional right all constitutional rights get thrown in the, thrown away in the trash can the moment you have contracts with the state so please don't listen to no youtuber nobody telling y'all stuff if you have contracts with the state they are going to use the contract against you if you have a driver's license your driver's license makes you a subject to the jurisdiction. So they don't even need to, they don't even need the contractual waiver of personal jurisdiction. They can just use the driver's license. Oh hell what he talking about. He got a driver's license with us. He's our citizen. We he's a statutory citizen and we and you know he's a subject. So you gotta understand these things when dealing with contractual waiver of personal jurisdiction. So know how to answer questions and also know when and when not to contract with them. You never want to contract with, with them, but you just need to know the, the little wording that they use. And also, if you want to live in directly in the private on all aspects, dealing with your mortgage, dealing with like a car, um, bank accounts and everything like that, holler at me. We can set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation.